All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode on Sunday of Jammy Conservation Park. Finally, we're doing a proper official episode, my friends. I want to apologize for the last couple of weeks. We've had to do live roundup-esque episodes. Uh, essentially, North America has become a bigger project than I ever thought it would, basically, the beginnings of the area anyway, uh, a lot like when we probably did uh, the Tropical House. It's become one of those kind of builds. Um, I will say right now, it's probably at about 90% done. Uh, I've run out of time, as I tend to do. It happens to me a hell of a lot, my friends. Anyone that watches the lives or anyone that watches this series knows I run out of time a lot of the time. Uh, but we are going to try and crack on the best way possible. We're going to show you where I'm at. But the big reason for wanting to put today's episode out is because we do need to move forward. Money is becoming a little bit of a problem. You can't see it on screen now, but we are under 300k's worth of money uh, now. So we do need to open up a new zone we do need to move forward in years just to kind of elevate the bank balance a little bit so that we can get a few bits and bobs finished and continue um, expanding this fantastic zoo now you will remember the last proper official episode that we put out um, was the African dog exhibit which was beginnings of Africa I will link that above for you my friends in case you've not seen it you probably have it's done very very well that one where the views are concerned and uh, it's absolutely smashed the like target as well I think it got 70 odd likes of the 50 requested and so i did uh, end up opening up a square uh, that i explained on the live uh, stream which was just behind the uh, anteater house where we are now it was this one here and it was just so i could start planning the backs of this area and continue with backstage stuff uh, but we don't really need to take a look at that we rounded up on that a couple of weeks ago we in one of those sunday roundups instead today is very much north american uh, you know focused we're going to look at this celebration slash education slash gift shop and restaurant uh, and bryson and pronghorn exhibit we're going to take a look at the whole damn thing my friends uh, but yeah i just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that has followed me over onto twitch and watched those live streams it's been really really appreciated uh, as you've seen on the channel the live streams are going up as they are on the channel just being uploaded so that you've got twitch catch-ups uh, in case you missed the live streams so that i will continue to do this this way whatever game i play um, whatever project we're doing if I'm streaming it on Twitch it will always find its way onto the channel but we will also supplement that with episodes like today where we continue the series going on where you guys can get your communications across so today's episode the big bit is at the beginning we're going to do the build there's no comments because the comments would be a little lost in translation now uh, we went through them a couple of weeks ago i don't feel like we need to go through them again um so there's going to be no comments in today's episode but obviously next sunday there will because in today's episode i am going to be offering up to you three new zones for you guys to take your pick and let me know what you want me to do with them basically i've got my ideas of what i think we should be doing with those zones but obviously ultimately uh the votes and the decisions come down to you guys the viewers now you're probably thinking why on earth are we staring at the anteater exhibit dan we're doing this because we're going to do a swift 180 in a minute and you're going to see north america my friends as uh, i get into the introduction of the new area now do remember like i've already said we're probably at about 90 percent complete on the area uh, a few reasons why it's not completely co complete one is time i just ran out of it there's just not enough hours in the day for me to complete everything and also my friends um there's just some bits i can't finish because of walls and bits and bobs in place and i can't pre-plan those areas because they're in sections that we don't have yet so i've kind of been limited essentially to what I could do but anyway I am going to swiftly turn this thing around so that you guys can see North Americano that is it my friends this is the opening to North America now it's a lot it is a lot to take in especially if you've not been keeping up with the series the last couple of weeks you've not been jumping in on those recaps that i've been putting out on the sundays and you've not been watching back the twitch streams this is going to be a hell of a lot of stuff to take in i'm going to do a very sort of quick um overview on the bison and pronghorn exhibit because i went in that it went into that in some detail uh, last weekend um, in what was an official but unofficial episode, so to speak, because it was a live stream. But uh, yeah, I kind of went into this a lot uh, then. As I explained, foliage is all around the edge. We have gone very, very, you know, 
basic in this one because bison would just hoover up all of the foliage it just wasn't needed we went with a very natural feel and a very natural looking american plains area uh, we do have our pronghorn and our bison in here already which is absolutely amazing i do just want to bring to whoever uh, it was that named the bison i think it was lexi named the bison one of them the name didn't stick so if you could and you are watching this get the name for those male bison that you put forward in that live stream the other day they were fantastic and i'd be happy to rename those little blighters for you but uh, yeah as you can see foliage rock work all around the edge all the trees and whatnot um really really dense in places i wanted to try to disguise the tropical house the best way i could i think i've done a pretty good job of it everyone I'm, I, I hope i have do let me know what you think but just try to disguise this for our um for our patrons and for our guests and whatnot coming into the zoo and using the facilities and whatnot you don't want to be just looking at this big tropical house behind you want to make it really immersive and i think we've managed to achieve that hard shelter is over in the corner i'll give you a better look in a moment and then like i say really really open uh, we've got a nice stream and a pond uh, in the middle we do have a raised uh, platform here to look into the exhibit a bit better and we do have another hard shelter over in that corner and that's pretty much it it's really really basic nice little scratch post in there disguised in a very similar way to the way we did with the camels uh, as you can see foliage like i was explaining you keep coming this way this is the hard shelter uh, there's no gates there's no ability to lock the animals inside you just don't need to when you get to this sort of animal where they're going to herd in quite large numbers uh, you know we have the potential to have you know 10 plus uh, deer and bison so we have 20 plus animals in this exhibit uh, should we wish whether or not we get to that level i don't know but you know that's kind of where we're at so the hard shelter didn't need to be uh, uh, too much more uh, than it is but um, i'll take you inside so you can have a quick look as you can see nice little main sleeping compartment uh, in the middle this bit here is a bit where animals can be locked away if they've had young and that sort of stuff and if you go back there another area to lock animals away and also to kind of quarantine them um, and then we do have like uh, a cattle run so to speak so you would move the animals into this area first you can lock the gate off and then you could get them into the trailers and then on and off site basically is essentially what this area was for i'll give you a quick look at the back stage um obviously i've started to planting up started the beginnings of the bridge didn't finish it finances as i've already explained have become a bit of an issue and i will talk more about that when we get to the zoning point uh, of today's episode but um you know we've got the fences all in it's all looking pretty cool it's all looking really really nice looks really tidy back here which is exactly what we needed uh, all needed to get you know in order basically so it all felt like one um and then yeah as you can see it's just a nice little view this of the habitat i'm trying not to give too much away for the education center and the restaurant uh, because i want to show you that in a moment but uh yeah the stream actually comes off of this main sort of man-made canal that we are building through the zoo uh, so the water would come off of that and down here try to make it look as sort of wild as possible with a nice little pond in the end obviously if we come down here as well there is another little lean to slash hard shelter more sleeping and whatnot down here and as you can see um trish tried to be really realistic uh, and as realistic as i could basically with the foliage didn't want to go too mad with it because obviously the bison do munch their way through everything but i think i've still done a good enough job to make it pretty pretty immersive and i do think it's turned out uh, a quite beautiful habitat it does have to be said and that was beautiful not beautiful um <laughs> but anyway let's crack on with the other side of this new north american area my friends now when i said 90 percent, you're going to see that a good sort of i don't know eight percent of that 90 percent uh, of that 10 percent that still needs doing is um is planting basically pain in the ass planting uh excuse my french but uh it is a big pain in the bottom and a reason is because someone said to me you know if we're going to go north america it needs to be really rough and rugged lots of rocks lots of uh, heavy foliage and i totally agree especially if we're going to go for a sort of woodlands slash meadows feel i do totally agree and i think that's what we need to be doing and looking at i still want to do it in planters so i have obviously put the mulch in i have raised the beds up and whatnot because that is um a, a style that we have used across the zoo and we obviously there's reoccurring themes that we still want to touch upon and so i have done that 
and so it is all very clean still but the foliage inside is just going to give you that lovely wild feel uh, and that's what i'm going for basically so bits of the foliage are done other bits are not but as you can see it's just a slow slow process and i am i am one of those people where every plant has to have its place and lots of people just plop them in there and get on with it whereas i can't do that and it's one of the things that's taken up the most time but it is it is getting there gang um I do want to bring to your attention as well, this piece of uh, path here will be covered up. The reason I haven't done it yet is I think that I think this square needs to be unlocked first because I need to know what I'm going to do with this space. And uh, am I going to continue on the backstage area here and behind here? I'm, I'm not sure. These are decisions that have got to be made. And so I didn't want to fill it all in in case I do want to do something unique with it or whatnot. Or path has to come off of it and things like that. So uh, I left it bare for now. But this is the opening to your sort of North American area. I've got this lovely sort of triangle design to kind of represent like a teepee, so to speak. We could put a nice little uh, banner on there if we want, if we want to sort of name this area, similar to what we've done with Africa. Um, I would be happy to do it. Obviously, I did say in the lives that the theming for Africa is going to be the only bit in the zoo that's going to be like really over the top. And the reason for that is in UK zoos, that is the area they tend to do that to. And they don't really do it with other areas. It's just very subtle. And so that's kind of what I've done here. Very, very subtle theming. Um, and so anyone that thought they were going to get like a wooden cabin or whatnot, um, it isn't that. It's so much more grand than I first um, anticipated. But um, I think when we jump inside and when you look at the outside of the building, you will uh, you'll be happy. Basically, it is a bit more grand because I think it needed to be. But uh, yeah, this is the entrance. Obviously, continuing this beautiful color scheme on um, as we do uh, for each area, different design at the beginning. Um, so yeah, this is obviously going to be really, really heavily foliaged up. Didn't finish this one because it's too close to this wall and I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. And then as you can see, each bit of bed has started a bit of work. Some have finished, some are not. Um, some have got space for other bits and bobs. Uh, but yeah, we're just really going to go in hard and heavy with the plant. And as you can see, there's people over here because I have tested the area. Uh, I did play the game through for a very, very tiny bit. I didn't want to take the mick because of obviously making money and whatnot, but just wanted to make sure that the guests and whatnot were all moving through the area. Okay. Um, and they are, we will do this bit. Um, We'll do, yeah, well, I think we'll go through here, the main entrance, and we'll work our way around the building, basically. But uh, as you can see, I stuck with that plan, ladies and gents, of uh, having this raised and elevated because we did want to elevate the terrain uh, quite extensively. Now, I didn't elevate the terrain. I cheated. I basically raised the path. Um, but that gave me its own set of uh, of pains and its own set of uh, challenges that i did get through eventually um it was not easy it was very very hard work anybody that watched the live streams especially tuesdays would have seen just how finicky and how hard it was messing around with the path system and getting to this point as uh, has been a journey but it's actually been a learning curve and i do feel like i'm, I'm gonna be um I'll be able to deal with this problem a lot better, basically, if I ever encounter it again. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I, I like it. I like the way it looks. I love the fact that the, the platform's raised and whatnot. Um, I think it gives this a really unique look. But, uh, yeah, let's head on in. Uh, these stairs need to be covered um, a very similar way to these ones over here. Just haven't got round to it. Again, uh, time was something I didn't have a lot of. Also, a bit of signage is going to go in there, my friends, uh, for the centre. And obviously, I think we could probably put a nice name up here. Whether or not we get dedicated to one of our viewers, uh, I will leave that up to you guys, basically. But let's head on in. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Is it a, cel is it a celebration of North America? Is it an education centre? Is it a bit of both? I'm not sure, but... Essentially, I really, really just, I just wung it, this one, I really did, I just, I was winging it the whole time, because this isn't a strong suit of mine, I'm not up on North America probably as much as I am other areas, um, and so it didn't come as easy, and believe it or not, the source material just wasn't there, like it is for, say, an African area, um, to try and find stuff, so I think I've done a good job, I, there's stuff in that I want in here, that 
either isn't on the workshop or I didn't feel confident enough to build. Uh, I had a go at it and it just didn't look good. So I am obviously going to mention these things so that if any of you create stuff and you might be able to create what I need, that would be amazing. If not, um, I can know I can head over to the forums then and maybe approach someone and see if they could make it for me on the forums. But whatever happens, there's a couple of bits and bobs that I need made to kind of finish this area off, in my opinion. Now, what I've done is I've done notice boards for all of the foliage. All the foliage in here is from different areas of North America. I was adamant that, that that's what I wanted to do. Uh, this area, in particular, is very foliage heavy. Uh, we've gone with one of these uh, one of these things here where we look in and we can see stuff like wood and trees and bark and all this sort of stuff. And up here, information on things like, um, you know, mushrooms and funguses and plants, leaves, twigs, that sort of stuff, and can kind of continue it on uh, with all of the planters there's there's lots of them all different plants in them different information and whatnot i thought that was quite a cool little reoccurring theme that we could have uh, obviously it is a zoo so i wanted to do really unique sort of uh, animal bios and information on on this sort of stuff uh, i've done the bison i've done the bear i think they both uh, you know really look cool in here what i want against this wall is uh either or uh, I want bear hide from the wall. I think that might look cool. But if not that, and better still, the one thing I'd really love is a grizzly standing on its hind legs skeleton. I think that would just look amazing in that space. Next to the information, they would go hand in hand. And I just think it would be an amazing thing as you first walk in to kind of see that there, uh, you know, prior to place just inside the door. Um, obviously, I still do think that <clears throat> this needs finishing off a little bit inside here. There's a few bits and bobs, obviously, I have an added. Added. Uh, this is supposed to sort of represent a woolly mammoth, but I know that tusks on a mammoth were a lot bigger. We just kind of have to use our imagination a bit, gang. It's really difficult to create these things. And, you know, this is a really, really good effort. And I think that, you know, we, we all know kind of what it represents. This is kind of like a larger sort of deer species, uh, prehistoric deer species, so to speak, that we've done there. And I think we just need one more sort of prehistoric item uh, to go on this one. And that would really complete this area off um i'm aware we need railings along here to stop people from touching but i haven't put them in yet because it isn't finished um i didn't want to do any of that stuff until it was all finished but uh i think it looks pretty nice uh the, the opening section you kind of work your way up here again more foliage more information on the foliage I've done the same over this side uh and then obviously we've got some nice benches i've got this little cabinet in the middle it's probably a bit small this cabinet but I threw it together last minute and I quite like it. And so I've just left it. Um, and, uh, you know, I might just remake one that's slightly bigger uh, at a later date. Over here, um, we've got another platform for more stuff should we need it and one here for more stuff. To be honest with you, gang, I'll run out of ideas. I, I, I got to a point with it where... I, this was the, I was exhausted from the build basically it'd been working on it for a couple of weeks um don't get me wrong I'm not exhausted in a bad way like I've really really enjoyed this because I've stepped outside my comfort zone and had to do something completely different but th these big builds that take a long long time you know put in multiple hours you know I would say I've, I've played the game for at least 20 hours trying to build this so like this has been a big big undertaking this project and I just got exhausted and uh, my brain just couldn't think of stuff to put in here so what I want you guys to do if you can in the comment section is just leave me some suggestions of things you think we could put in uh, you know in these spots and that would be really really appreciated uh, you work your way around here more education on the wall now all of the guests that come in here will actually look at these boards on the wall and the reason is i've sunk things behind them so there is education there um and so that's really cool uh that means this is a working room rather than just an empty room that doesn't do anything uh, our guests will walk through here but our guests will naturally walk through anyway because we've got a gift shop at the end which i'll show you in a minute and if you go down this way we've got a restaurant so the the traffic will move through this building a lot more and it will make it so much more attractive uh, where the zoo is concerned. Um, I have gone to the trouble of doing skirting boards, uh, something that Kim decided to bring up in the live streams, and she thought it was just one of those magnificent things that I do, is all those small attention to detail. Got railings on the wall. Uh, we've got disabled access here. Just loads and loads of stuff. Now, this was uh, basically Primal's idea. Primal Gamer came up with this idea on stream. We should turn the back of this building into a gift shop. And I thought, what an amazing idea that is. And he said, make it North American-based. So everything in it has to be from the area and whatnot. If you can do that, 
try and do that and that's what i've done my friends found these amazing plushies on the workshop i don't know the person's name and i really should have noted it down but they, they are amazing and uh, i have done that uh, also everybody uh, this was at work that i did that probably won't be appreciated these are all individual pieces of rock i'm just gonna throw it out there there's about um there's about 800 pieces there. Um, basically, I just wanted to make a little water design. I couldn't put um, a, a glass barrier in and fill it up with water, unfortunately, because the path design here wouldn't let me. But instead, I've done this, and eventually, I will put some spouting water at the top and just kind of like have the splash design here to just represent water, basically. Aquatic plants, I, I think it will look cool when I eventually finish it. Um, but I didn't put that in because it requires press and play and it's just really finicky. And again, time was against me. But the gift shop, my friends, looks like this. Plushies everywhere. Uh, even on this little shelf section over here, we've got balls. We've got loads of little bits and bobs that you can buy. Flyers. Uh, we've got, you know, generic things like postcards and whatnot. And then you come over here and you've got these, um, you know, wooden animal heads uh, that you can buy. We've got these lovely posters. Uh, and then you've got the plushies all over the place just really decked out these uh display cabinets with plushies and whatnot and then i just added this like log design in here just to give it a little something they're all on elevated platforms um and just just looks so so cool i really really like the look of this gift shop i've continued this design on the inside this is actually on the outside of our restaurant which you'll see shortly there are some reoccurring themes that i really wanted to just kind of carry on through the build and through the building and uh, that's one of them basically this was an idea by i think lexi and nightclive um basically i didn't want to put windows on the building because of the nature of the building but they said you've got to have some natural light they both suggested sort of skylight ideas this one's a very very deep one it's actually my favourite one of the two, uh, but we've got this one here, and then we've got this massive one right at the beginning, just bringing in loads of natural light into the building uh, and just flooding it, basically, with natural light. And I'll show you what that looks like on the outside from above uh, once we've taken a good look at the rest of the build. Now, you will see, uh, ladies and gents, there is a door over here, uh, you know, entry, exit point. <clears throat> we've got one over here entry exit point uh excuse me if my voice is a bit croaky lots of streaming this week has taken its toll basically i've been talking far too much i obviously need to invest in some more uh, throat lozenges but uh yeah we continue the journey up this way and I'll take you into the restaurant. Now, not much has changed in here. I did do a recap episode, I think, a couple of Sundays ago. And this was uh, the big talking point of that recap episode. So not really too much has changed, but I'm still going to take you through it anyway, in case there are people that want a complete roundup of North America. And there are some people that have not seen any of it, basically. So we've just got this little bit over here. Bin, condiments, usual stuff. I like putting stuff like this in. Just really brings the realism to life. Uh, I think this is a really cool entry point in from the uh, sort of museum exhibit part. I uh, really, really like this. Uh, then obviously drinks, facilities, hot dog, chips. Didn't want to go with burgers because I didn't want the bison to think we were cooking up their brothers, sisters, cousins, mothers and all that sort of stuff. That would have just been a bit weird. Um, instead we've gone with hot dogs. Um, obviously pricing and whatnot all on the top color schemes absolutely smashing it out of the park really really love the color scheme of this one um i'd actually say i prefer the color scheme of this one to the main restaurant and that sounds something because that main restaurant's purple does it for me purple is one of my favorite colors along with like green and then this is finished everybody the mural is finished on the wall and i've got to say in a weird way one of the f my favorite things i've ever made in planet zoo and it is so simple it's just plastic pieces and then this wooden piece sunk into the wall to give it this effect it looks so so nice though and it is one of my favorite things that i've built i'm actually thinking of saving it on the workshop um and just putting like a putting a, a frame around it essentially putting it on the workshop so people can use it that's how much i like it i just absolutely love it and uh, i just think it just really brings this restaurant to life uh, in a big big way I do think that uh, this restaurant will work nicer as well because there's just more space in the areas it's needed. Seats have been placed quite nicely along the wall there and I think it will be pretty cool. I will take you out that way in a moment and show you the deck. 
But first and foremost, what I do want to say is, obviously, I've put some arrows here. You probably wouldn't notice this. Put some arrows here, uh, everyone, basically because um, I want to put the restaurant's name on the wall and say it's this way. But I don't have a name for the restaurant. And at the end of the day, this is a community build. It's your series. Best name suggestion, that's what the restaurant gets called. And that will go on the wall in one of the live streams next week. So uh, as well as all the other stuff I'm going to ask of you this week, make sure you get your name suggestions for the brand new restaurant on the wall. I would really, really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, let's go uh, this way. So you come out this way, my friends. Um, I carried on the design on the outside of the building over here. Very similar to the restaurant. Wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but it just fit better over here we changed the design over on the front of the building with the the cladding and whatnot which i will show you a bit more in a moment uh but yeah we've got some seating out here obviously we couldn't put it close to the building because we needed to keep this path clear i have started some planting and the stuff down here just obviously not finished it because i do think we need to open up more squares so i know where to take this and where to finish it before i finish off all the planting and the same can be said for all of this as well along here haven't finished any of it because just don't really know where i stand with the area um so just kind of wanted to leave some options there and then yeah as you can see all the decking is finished we've got tables in now i put all the railings in i think it looks really nice continuing this color scheme uh with this railing uh, down here the corners are slightly different as well really working that design in i've customed the stairs uh, down the bottom here i do need to pull a piece a bit further out i'm going to be honest with you guys i don't know if there's a piece count limit in this game but i feel like i do stuff and it doesn't save at the moment and it is concerning me uh that stuff isn't like saving and that like i'm losing things um I'm a bit worried that I've reached the peace count limit. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, because I just feel like I saved the game. I come back in and it isn't saved. Like there was a piece here that covered this this black piece. And now it's not there all of a sudden. It is very, very strange. I'm, I'm hoping it's just me. Um, and it isn't that we've reached the peace count. And it isn't deleting stuff out. Because if it is, then it's a real worry. Because like even, like, like I said, Oggy's named... But the other Mal isn't named. Um, it's weird how it's not saving certain things. So a little bit worried. And that's a little concerning. Does have to be said. Um, but um, um, I digress anyway. But yeah, the stairs there. Obviously the planting um, are just, just, just nice, I guess. Just really overgrown. These stairs. And uh, yeah, this is what I was saying about this building. Uh, I went with cladding on the front of this one. Um, I teased that that was what I was going to do. I went with a different direction, completely different colour and stuff. But I think it pops. I think it really, really works, especially with the dark brown. Um, just tried to give it some angles and whatnot around the door. I think it really works. It's lovely, like trim around the edge. It is a bit janky in places because it's not finished. The back of the building has not been touched at all. Um, and the reason for that is, again... I need to unlock stuff before I can finish it. And that's one of the reasons. But that's what the ceiling looks like. The roof of the building looks like from above. Very green energy-wise, this building. Uh, plant power, solar power. It's pretty cool. And uh, I think it looks absolutely smashing. And that's, you know, obviously tooting my own trumpet there. But I do. Like, if we take a really, really cool look from this angle of North America, I think we can all agree that is... A quite stunning start to this area but now we get to talk about what's coming next okay my friends so here we are we are going to be zoning for the first time in a very very long time but one of the big reasons we are doing this is money money has started to run out my friends um and it is a little bit of a worry one of the obviously the big reason why i stopped building was because of time uh whatever happened whether the money was a million or not i still would have had to stop because of time but it was playing in the back of my mind that we had gone under three hundred thousand pounds worth of money and that was a little concerning to me i do really feel like um, that's a, a level of money that we, we don't really want to be getting to. Um, you know, like we've got, we, cause at the end of the day we can build all this stuff and I could press play, try and move this forward 10 years and we could be running at a loss. And I feel like we're at a point where we've been building for so long. We haven't played the game, you know, through enough to see if the zoo actually makes money. I would assume it would. I've put all the correct stuff in place, all the bins, all of the education, all of the new food and gift shops. I think mean, will all make us money, but 
<clears throat> you just never know until you press that play button. And so I kind of feel like we've reached a point where we need some more zonage. And I've come up with three zones for you guys to vote on. Now, if you forgot the rules, they're on the screen for you right now, my friends. You would have seen them there the whole time. Um, this is essentially what you have to do whenever you're given the chance. And uh, you vote for the zone that you want uh, by leaving it in the comment section below. And obviously, leave me your suggestions to do with each zone as well. Uh, that is always very much appreciated. You guys are in charge. Unless you guys are putting those suggestions forward, I have no idea what to build, my friends. But these are my ideas for said zones. So zone uh, A is going to be uh, over on the right-hand side. And you're going to see it is going to be quite a few um, squares and rectangles, uh, my friends. I think it's actually going to be somewhere in the region of about nine. Um, which does mean the game will be moved on around about 10 years, which is uh, quite a lot of in-game years, but it will give us a lot of cash. Now, what I really would love to put in this area, if it was left up to me, is a brand new animal hospital, like a big, big animal hospital with uh, said quarantine areas on the outside. Obviously, this could be extended further at a later date, but for now, I do think this is a large enough area for us to build something quite substantial uh, to be able to have a big animal hospital and a few quarantine units on the outside for the bigger animals now this was obviously brought to my attention quite some time ago by nightclub one of our regulars on the series when he said that the only quarantine unit we have is in the only sort of big staff uh, facility that we built right back near the beginning of the series like probably in episode four or five it was that early uh, in the series and so we need something that's a bit more substantial uh, and from a realistic standpoint can um basically um sort the needs of our larger animals like your bison like your gemsbok your camels uh, your wild dogs etc etc we need something bigger basically and the other you know staff center quarantine center just isn't really built realistic enough for those animals to go in there so we do need to build a bigger animal hospital and i think that would be prime real estate for that my friends uh, zone b is going to be an extension on north america as simple as that i'm going to offer you up quite a large area but we will only move forward 10 years uh, it is a lot more kind of squares and rectangles that i would usually offer one of the big reasons i'm going to do those two big squares uh, is because i would like to open one up so that we can complete um you know continue our staff area from the wild dogs uh round the back up uh, into North America basically so it all continues to join up because at the moment uh, I'm losing track where the backstage areas are going and where they're stopping and so I do need to start joining things up and opening area areas up to make sure I do that but also I do think that's enough space to get our wolves and our grizzlies in and essentially finish off North America um, I know we are going to extend north america into another area area that includes the colder animals like your polar bears uh your dull sheep your arctic wolf and stuff like that and i know we, we i know we're going to do that and we're going to extend that uh, and make that part of north america make it more of a canadian sort of esque area so it's all one but for now just to get the main north american animals done and dusted i do think that if we unlock that area we will be able to finish that off and then the last zone i'm going to offer you up today is that of zone c and it's over near the african area very close to the wild dogs i think it's only five um five squares that i'm offering up so very, a lot smaller but um the big reason why i'm offering these ones up is not only would it probably help us extend africa ever so slightly it would help me get the backstage finished off behind the original reptile house it helped me get that staff path put in uh, joining africa to that area and uh, also get some foliage and add another animal basically and a small snack shack i want to do a very small kind of walk up just windowed snack shack i don't want to put another restaurant in because i think we've got two small ones and a very large one we don't need anything too like big in there but i would like to get something small in so it would just open up uh, you know another area to do one of the another smaller species uh, where africa's concerned just to continue working that area forward into potentially the bigger sort of open savanna area that we're probably going to work towards uh, where that's concerned so they're the three zones a b or c they're your picks my friends make sure you pick the one you want and then leave your suggestion with it in the comment section below that's basically how you do this bit of the project and now usually everyone i would finish doing some animal management and whatnot but we don't really have anything to do we've not been moving forward in years uh, we've not been moving forward in time enough so we don't really need to do that um what i did think i'd do is just play the game ever so slightly so you can see the animals moving around you can see the guests moving around in this brand new area um so you can kind of see 
how this area works i think it is really really nice also you can see the money like i was saying we're at 289,000. it is not a lot of money at all we do need to get that going up uh, we obviously have conservation points uh, the guests are at uh, two and a half thousand in the zoo we have limited it, it to three thousand i think we've got enough space now to have you know three thousand odd guests we could probably have a few more but i don't want to make it unlimited because then the game does start to really really slow down so i don't want to kind of do that yet but uh that's just kind of where we're at everyone there's not really too much more to take you through um i just wanted to give you a nice view of uh you know the animals moving around on exhibit show you what it looks like before you know we jump out of today's episode i know it's been a slightly shorter episode uh, everyone um you know i'm sure you can all appreciate that because we didn't have any comments to go through uh, that's made it slightly shorter but there's lots of stuff for you to do as i've already said um the first thing i do want to bring your attention to is uh, in the description box below my friends make sure you're checking out all of the links the twitch one is really important if you want to continue to watch the streams because uh, that's where i'm streaming from now on Every Tuesday and Thursday have been designated Planet Zoo Stream Day, so do put those in your diary. A four, uh, we've got a, a six o'clock start uh, UK time on a Tuesday and a four o'clock start um, UK time on a Thursday. The Thursday stream is actually three hours long, and a lot of people that joined me really, really enjoyed that one uh, this week just gone. Uh, so do be sure to check that out, my friends. Uh, also, you'll find the link to my Twitch and the link to Discord. Make sure you go and follow those and become an even bigger part of the community than you probably already are if you are new uh, it's a great way to communicate with the other members of the team uh, that are involved in the series and I say team because without you guys none of this is possible also there's lots of loads of uh, uh, bits and bobs that you can get involved in on there my friends and uh, that is it I'm going to wrap this one up we will of course be back in the live streams uh, on Tuesday you will obviously get the reveal then of which zone you have picked but if you uh, are going to wait till next Sunday it will all be revealed then my friends but remember vote for the zone that you want make sure you like the video if we hit that 50 like target i get to open up a square of my choice as well as the brand new zone um but uh when you vote for your zone in the comment section below make sure you are leaving either narrative uh to extend the jammy conservation park story or just leaving me suggestions of what you would like to see me do with the brand new zone but my friends i am off ski enjoy the rest of your day and as i always say stay humble stay safe and i will see you next time